Who wants themselves a chainsaw bayonet, huh? How can I sell you today a chainsaw bayonet? You know, yesterday I didn't even know this was a thing. The next thing I learned, USA Today, well, they're just advertising for them like it's their job. Me, I'm Tony Katz. Great to be with you. Facebook, Tony Katz Radio. Be sure to like the page. Yes, USA Today. They uh, put out on on their, uh, was it part of their Twitter feed? It was one of their articles. You know, they're talking about Texas. They're talking about uh, the the AR-15 uh, that was that was used, uh, or the AR that was used, the Ruger AR that was used in this murder of, of 26 people. And we should never joke about the murder of 26 people. What happened here at the hands of Devin Kelly is horrific. The failures of the system up and down the line, absolutely positively disgusting and angering and frustrating, regardless of what side of the aisle you're on. There are a lot of people who are going to come together over the idea that if we can't get information about a guy convicted of domestic violence for cracking his toddler son's skull into the database that prevents him from buying a firearm, well, we got to fix that. I think you're going to see a lot of arm-in-arm locking between Republicans and Democrats, conservatives and liberals on this subject. If we have a system, follow the system. Those people who don't follow the system, those people who don't properly uh, uh, get information into the system, they're going to have, what's the punishment? That's going to be one of the questions that comes up. But I can't blame this this gun store in San Antonio. They did the background check. They did their job. But USA Today piling on what all these other people pile on to because they don't know anything about firearms whatsoever. And you know this when they use the term assault rifle. Assault rifle. What the what the frick? Assault rifle. If, if I, t- I mean, I've said this before, box of tissues. If I take the box of tissues and I throw it at you, it's an assault box. It's an assault tissue. It is what it is. So let's not invent words. Let's not pretend to make something. We're trying to make something more scary. It's ridiculous. USA Today, they win, though. They win. This is, this is a little bit of bravo. This is a little bit. This is going to end up in some kind of Marvel Universe comic. They said uh, that you could affix a chainsaw to a rifle. It's what they said. Chainsaw bayonet. So picture the rifle and then uh, the rail underneath, right? Chainsaw. No word yet if it was gas or electric. I'm not quite sure how that would work. It has, it has, they have received a lot of, of, of mocking. A lot of mocking uh, for this. Some people saying, why not just put a hydrogen bomb underneath? Hydrogen bomb bayonet. Super easy. They went, oh, it's terrific. It's glorious. It's embarrassing and it's shameful. All the mocking of this USA Today completely deserves. They deserve every bit of it for failing so epically on just a a basic level of understanding. It's so obvious that these people who talk about the Second Amendment, who despise the Second Amendment, who think you're a troglodyte for for engaging the Second Amendment, it is so obvious that they've never taken the time to learn anything, anything. They've never just picked up a phone. Pick up a phone, call someone, ask a question. It's so easy to do. You need a list of people? I'll give you a list. I'll give you a list of people who will answer your question about the Second Amendment and about firearms. You can't just walk into a gun gun shop and say, okay, explain to me uh, what the AR platform is. Explain it to me. Explain how it works. Now, what can you add to this? Chainsaw bayonet. How would you lift the damn thing? How would that even work? Why would you have something on your weapon that would somehow mess with your aim? You know, this whole conversation about bump stocks? You know what I learned? First of all, I didn't even know the bump stock existed. I had absolutely, positively no clue. It's not something that I, I use or utilize. What I learned is, is that people who are serious, don't want, they don't care anything about a bump stock, right? So that's the thing that was supposedly used in Vegas to allow for more rapid fire. It uses the, uh, the recoil of the firearm itself to engage a um, uh, faster movement. It destroys aim. These guys want to hit their target. Why in the world would you want something that doesn't uh, help you? So they're like, we don't care if this is around or not. It's a totally meaningless thing. And by the way, it's 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 a it's a technique. It's not a uh, it's not simply just an apparatus. You can you can make this. You can MacGyver this thing all on your own. Just put it together. 
But Chainsaw Bayonet is not just hysterical. It is this real exposing of how little these people know about firearms and how proud they are to know so little about firearms. If they were actually journalists, if they really cared, they'd make a phone call. And I'm offering myself up. Oh, and I'm not the expert, but I know them. And if any journalist anywhere in America wants to learn about firearms, call me. Email me, Tony at WIBC.com. T-O-N-Y, that's my name. Tony at WIBC.com. And I'll get you in touch with an expert in your area. I'll get you in touch with an expert who will come to you. I'll do it. I'll happily do it. Because if we're going to have a conversation about guns in America, could we at least all be on the same page? Number one, there's no such thing as an assault rifle. If I, anything used in an assault is an assault anything. Is it an assault car in New York when eight people are murdered? I'm only asking. I'd like an answer. And when you realize the answer is no, you'll realize where I'm at. And number two, no. You're not putting a chainsaw on a rifle. Did I have to say that out loud? It's just the, that's, that's so 2017. Nothing says 2017 like no, you don't put a chainsaw on a rifle. I'm Tony Katz.